This uh, round of questions is going to be based on a scenario which we think is quite plausible uh, that any of you as president might well end up facing and concerns Iran. And these are the circumstances. Its nuclear program has continued to advance. Uh, UN weapons inspectors have, have now saying that it appears that, uh, that Iran is on the verge of being able to produce and may even be producing nuclear weapons. Iran has suspended its cooperation with the uh, UN uh, uh, nuclear agency and asked the inspectors to leave the country. Cross-border incidents in Iraq involving elements of the Revolutionary Guards have continued to increase and are a continuing problem for U.S. forces there and for the Iraqis as well. The U.N. Security Council has imposed some economic sanctions on Iran but has refused to authorize the use of force against that country. In addition, the threats by Iran's leader against Israel have become more pronounced uh, and more extreme. What do you do? Congressman Paul. For one thing, one thing I would remember very clearly is the president doesn't have the authority to go to war. He so goes to the do? Congress. So what do you do? He goes to the Congress and finds out if there's any threat to our national security. And thinking back to the 1960s when I was in the Air Force for five years and there was a Cold War going on and the Soviets had 40,000 and we stood them down and we didn't have to have a nuclear confrontation, I would say that we should go very cautiously. We should back off. We should be talking to Iran right now. We shouldn't be looking for the opportunity to attack them. Uh, they are at the present time, with, uh, according to AEIA, cooperating, and by the end of the year they're supposed to be uh, willing to reveal all that they are doing. So instead of looking for this scenario where it is inevitable that we have to attack, I think we ought to be talking about how do you get along with some people that are deadly, like the Soviets and the Chinese and the many others. We don't have to resort to war every single time there's a confrontation. Congress. They are not a threat to Israel. Israel has 200 or 300 nuclear missiles, and they can take care of themselves. So you shouldn't assume that we have to Thank jump you, in and go to war, and we Thank certainly you. shouldn't do it without the consent of the Congress. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, I would say that essentially uh, they're all wrong on this. They're, they're, they're sort of leading up. The, the administration is cooking the books, the intelligence on Iran. And we're playing into this, and I'm very concerned. I would hope the Congress would pass a resolution saying, no, under no circumstances do you invade Iran. The stop and think. What have we, what have they done to us? They're giving us intelligence saying that they're destroying our troops. Well, what about our trying to destabilize their government, which we've been doing for the last 25 years? We destroyed their democracy, and now we're looking at them as an excuse to expand the war, which is the plan the neocons had back in 1997. Yep. And so when Democrats buy into the problem of Iran, they just help Vice President Cheney, who should be committed with his state recent state. <laughs> okay.